How old are you? 26. 22. How long have you been together? Two, Two years. years. If she gave you a guilt-free pass to sleep with anybody, would you take it? No, sir. You you only you might get one pass, but at the end of the day, you want one wife. And this is the life I want. So no. Okay. I can already see where this is going. She about to make him look stupid. <laughs> now what about you if he gave you one? If he gave me a guilt tree pass, I would take it. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Sorry. That's crazy. <laughs> Who would you take it with? Um, Lindy Waters the third. Don't even know who that is. That's our problem. She on here being yep. specific, bro. Yep. Who else? Um, Barry Sanders. I'm in love with him. Now, what do you think those men have over your men? Uh, they're professional athletes. That's crazy. <laughs> hey, <laughs> black or white? One is Native American and one's black. But do you think that? Any of those guys would go for you? Uh, Junior would. That's great. How you know? <laughs> hey, at the end of the day, it's whatever. <laughs> whatever. At the end of the day, I don't care. She just embarrassed you on Elon Musk's internet. She just embarrassed the hell out of you. Bro, you know... If that was me, she was taking an Uber home. <laughs> Relationship is dead. She probably got to put a nicotine patch every morning so she don't go suck no... <laughs> I don't even know the words to really throw out there, but what I'm trying to say is that every day she walks out the house, she probably think about cheating. She basically telling us that you coming with a Whopper Jr. And, and, and she wants some Angus beef, my boy. Every day she walks out that house, she thinking about that Angus beef. And to everybody that's calling me swole because I got 12 kids and I'm in my late 30s and my dad still provide for me and my sister in some type of way. What's wrong with y'all? Whoa. <laughs> Wait a minute. We we not finna fly by 12 kids. God damn. That spitting. Y'all mad or something? I'm confused. Oh, you need to be an adult. I've been an adult for, for a long time. Huh? Yes, I live on my own. Yes, I have my own job. However, my dad still pay for some things. So, yes, I was a little bit concerned and shocked when he told me that I need to find my own cell phone plan and get off the, the family insurance. Daddy, why do you want me to spend my own money? Because you got a job. You do not want me to be your daughter anymore. Wait, I am what? Shocked. But thank you for the balloons and the gift. But if you can reconsider, because why why you want me to spend my own money? If you don't want me to be your daughter no more, just say that. I I'm confused. But thank you for the belongings and again. I love you, Diddy. But you really need to you 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 need to reconsider. As a grown man, I can say that your parents are never not going to get involved. But when you acting like a spoiled brat because your father says you need to get your own insurance and pay your own cell phone bill, that's a red flag. And to be quite honest with you, I'm pretty sure it's hard to date her. If you're in a relationship with a woman, she have to earn that right to be spoiled. I don't feel as though just because she got a vagina between her legs, she need to be spoiled. I don't feel as though just because your daddy spoiled you as a child and as an adult, a man coming in needs to spoil you. If your daddy doesn't know how to cut you off and let you stand on your own too, it sets you up for failing relationships. Because now you're going to expect every man in your life to spoil you and you don't feel as though you have to earn it. You never had to earn your daddy spoiling you because that's what fathers do. At a certain point, a father does have to let his daughter be an adult. I have been married for 51 years. Got two sons. 42 and 40 damn deadbeats. I'm still supporting the little boogers. Needed to take a test to see if any of us had a kidney good enough for my brother. Found out something interesting. They ain't my kids. There's somebody else's. Of course, the only good thing is, I know it's not my fault that those two idiots got dumped into this world. 
No, I thought they took after their mother. Instead, they take after the plumber or the postman or the milkman. Or, yeah, they were milkmen back when they came around. Well, God only knows. It sure gets old. I do wish I knew who the real fathers were. And they ain't the same. She was bopping a couple of different guys. But if I could figure out who they were, I've been practicing law, law long enough that I pretty well figure I could sue their ass and get all my money back. I think that's every man's worst fear. To be taking care of a child that you think is yours, only to find out that it's not yours. After 51 years of marriage. That's crazy. Here I am checking in at a hotel and the lady who's checking me in um, goes, you're really pretty to be a dark skinned girl. Usually I don't say anything. I thought about it. I'm like, nah. I told her straight up, that's not a compliment. It's not. It's not a compliment at all. She's like, yeah, I'm just saying like to be dark like you, you're really pretty. You saying it again in a different way doesn't make it better. And I told her, that's not a compliment. Like that sound that, that to me sounds like a colorist ass statement. It You're is basically I don't... implying that just uh, being um, pretty isn't associated with being dark mm -hmm. skin. Like it's two separate things. And mm -hmm. I was like, that's not a compliment. Like mm -hmm. at this point, just check me in. You know, I told her it's a colorist statement. It's not a compliment. Uh, I'm not taking this. It's 2024. Wake the f up. Yes. And what? What really baffles me, what really got on my nerve the most was the fact that she was an actually black woman. Here I am checking it at a hotel. I have been fighting against the dark skin slander for years. I had friends who only like light skinned women, bro. I used to be the only guy that used to, yo, nah, son, she, she fire. She's, she's bad. What? The darky? The way some of these black dudes describe dark skinned women, it really sound like a bunch of white men from the 1920s, bro. You can't judge somebody by what they do to make money. I just told you I did. Yes. Why can't you? <laughs> and I'm telling you, you my close minded, like, and I look, you my sassy too, like, uh-uh. Sassy? Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's I, you, though. I, I, you fucking your blessings. Hey, yo, ladies of 2024, this has started in 2003. What is, what is it with y'all and calling dudes sassy? When I think about sassy, I think about motherfuckers Crossing the street. I'm a grown ass man. My lip gloss ain't popping. I don't wear no purses. I'm not sassy. You never know. I'm blocking my blessings because yeah. I don't want to wife a girl that works in a club. No, no, no you're no, not, no. brother. Just by being so close minded. That's a. How? Because I said so. But there's Let nothing wrong with that, though, bro. There's nothing wrong with it. And you making a scene. It's nothing wrong with it, but I mean, it comes with f comes with shit. That's what y'all yeah, if you you're it's calling it, you I, you're I, calling you me close minded, girl. but you're being very close minded right now. No, because not. you're not thinking about the stuff that it comes with. What no, it comes with. What it comes with. What you I think bet, it comes with? Drama. It comes with hella annoying ass shit that I don't want to deal with. Drama. I'm a different type of nigga. I could probably handle it, but do I want no, to? You, no, no, you okay. no, bro. No, no. That's your Why do, no. You can't judge some No. Nothing good comes from dating a girl that works at a club. Nothing good. I've been around that environment and I know for sure nothing good comes from dating a girl that comes at a club. What's the first thing you think about when they go to the club? Oh, I'm about to turn up and I'm about to get some pussy. Your girl comes across dudes hitting on her all the time. Whether you a bottle girl or you a stripper, you trying to get tips. So you have to flirt. You have to play into this character to finesse out their money. I don't need you creating no sexual fantasies for no other dudes to make a dollar. I saw this video. No, no, I, I can't hear you. Say it. Will you marry me? All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Oh, my God. 
I've seen this video, dog. I'm gonna say what I think just now. I just want y'all to look at her face and, and you know, look at her face. She trying to get a record deal. All right, so I've seen this video. And, of course, you know, there's a lot of dudes in the comment section. Oh, she ungrateful. Oh, nobody's really <laughs> taking account. Well, we can't take accountability for what the dude may have done. But th that is the face of a woman who has had enough. She is checked out. Whoever is singing is actually singing the wrong song. What she needs to be singing is that R. Kelly. La da da da. La da da da. I'm standing here looking in the mirror, saying damn to myself. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know all the words of this one. I know the chorus though. When a woman's fed up. It ain't nothing you can do about it. That's what she need to be singing. Because obviously this woman is fed up. Now I don't know what this brother has done. But. She is tired of the bullshit. <laughs> oh, now we keep Boy. Boy. <laughs> Boy, hey, hey, boy. <laughs> oh, yo, them icy ladies was not built like that when I was growing up. The icy ladies was not built like that when I was growing up, my boy. That shit probably sound like a drive-by shooting when you... Alright, you're doing too much. You're doing too much. That's... that's the <laughs> This is my favorite dish to ring to a barbecue. I start with two bags of Lay's barbecue flavor and sour cream and add barbecue sauce and French onion dip. Then I add two eggs to each bag. Once that's done, I grab... I just know, I just know this is about to be some bullshit. I just know. My chicken drumsticks. Place drumsticks into each bag, fitting them in comfortably. Once I've got my drumsticks all fit in, I will smash up my chips and use the coating inside to coat my chicken. Once I got those all good and coated with my chips and mixture, I place them into a baking dish and I'll bake these at 400 degrees for 40 minutes. This is how they turned out. Grab yourself a delicious drumstick. Take a bite and enjoy. These are so easy and so good. You got to try it. This is. I don't got no comment, bro. Girls that have told me, like, guys, hit them up in a DM. And the first thing is, like, what's your cash app? Before you say your name, before I introduce myself, before you say hello, before you say anything, hey, what's your cash app? Send them a cash app. I just sent you a thousand dollars. Have a good night. Let's talk later yeah, on. That's because a lot of them publicly traded, too, on the black market. Well, what? It says a lot about the time. It says a lot about the That's the other IPO. Now, if we're going to talk, we're going to talk. It's a lot of them that's day trading that night. <laughs> day trading. 
eating at night. You know what I mean? They traded hey, at night. Hero expiration daily options on 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 the, on the gato. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's why they doing that. But this is led to sim culture. All that passport bro ish. Like y'all y'all going over Columbia and getting killed now. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful. But a lot of them selling. Wallow even said it. What well, last year? There's a lot of women who be acting like the entrepreneurs, and it's like, yeah, we're candle lines making you that like you got the Bahrain and, and Abu Dhabi and two G wagons off of nine dollar candles. Come on, yo. <laughs> yo, he what going in. Yo, it says a lot about the times that we in, man. It's dangerous out here, bro. It's dangerous, man. It's a lot of money in the simp economy that's being spent. Boy said it's a lot of money in the simp economy. I reacted to a video a few months back of a dude saying that guys is going to Colombia and they're messing up the economy. <laughs> because these dudes are out there giving these girls two, three hundred dollars, um, their prices are going up. And I thought that was funny because if I go to well, I'm married, so I'm not I can't even say myself, but I'm not paying for no coochie. That's that's you know what I'm saying? That's not me. On that goes with the same line of being in America and just cash up in random women bread. Like I'm not doing that. But I know dudes that have done that. I know a dude specifically, he didn't even know the chick, but he was just he hit up on Instagram and send the money like, Hey, did you eat today? Alright, here you go, go get get yourself something to eat. Hey, um, I seen you post a video. I ain't like the way your nails was looking. Here's some money. Go get your nails done. Kept on doing that. Finally, he got the information when it was time for them to go on a date. She canceled on him. So you done spent about a thousand dollars on this. And when it finally was time for y'all to meet up, she canceled on you. I looked in the comment section of this video, and there was a lot of women that were clowning these dudes and saying, "Yo, why are other grown ass men worried about how other grown men spend their money?" But to be quite honest with you, ladies, I don't think. Any real woman would accept money from a stranger. If a guy randomly hits you up on Instagram and the first thing he's doing is leading with his money, to me, that's a red flag. I'm not saying that because I'm broke. I'm not saying that because of that. I'm just being honest. It's kind of like if you're in prison. If I went to prison and a mother offer me a packet of noodles and I ain't never spoke to this man a day in my life, I'm not accepting them noodles. You know what them noodles come with? You know what he might be expecting because of them noodles? Only prostitutes accept money from strangers. Take it how you take it how you want to take it. Take it how you want to take it. If you accept them money from strangers, you a streetwalker.